Hey, everybody, Ann here. Look at me. I'm frazzled. I'm frazzled. I'm way past coffee. Uh, I've been having issues all morning. The wood burning stove, the smoke was coming in, and I think I've got that figured out. Here, let me show you. This little bolt had loosened, and this is the flue or the damper or whatever you want to call it. And it had slipped down like this, and that is closed. So I've had to adjust that, and hopefully it'll start working. It's it's still a little bit of smoke coming in, so I need to go look on the outside, and I need to clean this pipe off too. Um, I need to see if I need to clean the pipes again. This is my breakfast. Two green eggs, yeah, they came out of a green shell, and ham. I made a sandwich with one, and I'm just going to eat that like that. Seems like a lot of food, but I got a lot to do today. The puppies have been driving me absolutely out of my mind. They keep getting out, and I figured out how they're doing it. They're getting out through the rooster yard. They're getting into the rooster yard, and then they're pushing through the little gate thingy that I have, and so the roosters are getting out. I've had to, well, actually, just uh, Flame. Flame has been getting out, and he lets me walk up right next to him and pick him up, and I've been able to get him back in. I mean, he knows where he's supposed to go because he kind of sticks around there, but... Then I hear all this squawking, and then Romeo gets involved, so um, I'm going to have to figure something out for that. Um, I found out that the uh, the bar and chain oil is supposed to be delivered today. The UPS guy usually doesn't get here till 4 or 5 p.m., and it's usually dark by then, so I don't know. I'm just praying that maybe it comes sooner. Um, I've already charged the battery that came with it, and it only took about an hour and a half to charge because it's only partially charged. So... <sighs> I got to get outside. The puppies were getting out, like, right underneath of here. They chewed through this, even though there, there was chicken wire. Um, and then they were pushing through here. And this is the rooster yard. <laughs> so that was causing all sorts of problems. So I just got some remnants of this and uh, just drilled a hole. And I've just zip-tied them to it. This is... Oh, hello, Fabio. Um... This is just what I've done for right now. I could use an extra stake here, but I just attached it there. And then around here, I just kept <laughs> attaching it. So, you know, I'm not under any illusion that those puppies can't chew through that and get out, but at least it'll give me a little bit of time. Hopefully, I'll be able to hear them doing it. So, I'll be able to repurpose that, and I needed it. Um, I've got a little bit more here, but that's here right now because I need to get one more piece of wood and just kind of put it in the corner there. Um, <laughs> so hopefully they won't get out through there. Hello Fabio. You've got a beautiful crow. Yes you do. <coughs> right on cue. Finally got them back in the yard and they are a mess. Yeah all three of you. I just let Pop out because you know what. He'll keep these boys safe. You, oh my goodness, you got some blood on your nose. What happened there? I bet you a rooster got you. Let's see. I don't know if he, he'll hold hold still long enough. Yeah, stop it, Papa. I'll tell you what, stop. <laughs> you guys are driving me crazy. Yeah, it looks to me like this one may have gotten pecked by a rooster. Oh my goodness. Well, I got him in the yard, so we'll see how long this lasts. I've been a little low on feed lately, so I've been foraging for the ones that don't forage for themselves. I just got a little handful, but I'm going to go fill up a big bin, and I'm going to give some to the gentleman as well. These two came charging at me. I have no idea how I got how they got out, but I give up. I, I literally give up. <laughs> Those dogs are bound and determined to get out of that yard. The good thing is, is they know that where their home is. I just don't want them running out in the middle of the street. I don't want them going and bothering the neighbors. I mean, I know neighbor dude and dude Ed and kids don't mind because they got all those other puppies, but I need to figure out how they got out. Well, these were right up against here, so I am thinking, see that? I'm betting that they just pushed through here. So I need to find some stakes and stake that down. I didn't catch this on film, but Junior, Junior, he was chasing Rocky too, like he wanted to eat him. And I kept yelling at him, leave it, leave it. He didn't listen to me. So as you can see, I can't just let them free range. 
you know. The other dogs, my next door neighbor's dogs, don't bother my chickens or my roosters. It's just my two dogs and they keep getting out. Can you see I'm a little frustrated? Yeah, I am. Um, I'm trying to get stuff done. And this never happens unless I'm trying to get stuff done. And um, so I don't know. I, I only had one steak left. I, I don't have enough to shore up that yard. But I've done what I can. I just don't want them chasing the chickens around. I would not mind them running around the property if they didn't chase the chickens. But that's what's happening, so I've got to figure this stuff out. Anyhow, i got to go forage. There you go, guys. Just a little bit. I'll find you some more in a minute. They love it. Puppies, especially you, Junior, you better behave. See that rooster over there, Rocky Two? He just got on Splash, and he was successful. Romeo couldn't get to him in time. That's so funny. Yeah, he's going to get his own flock. He is going to go in with uh, Roxy, and there's going to be another hen coming in from somewhere else. Uh, she's got some stuff going on with her, so she's going to get healed up. Um, and then I think I'm going to put one more hen but I gotta get the yard ready first. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> All of the green stuff is gone. They ate it already. Well, it was just a small handful, so I'll go find some more a little bit later. I just got to sit down and take a rest. I keep chasing after things, and the puppies keep getting out, and then I have to keep fixing things. But these are some pretty chickens. <sighs> FedEx is here. <laughs> It's here, you guys. It's here. Well, one of them, the one from FedEx is here. I'm going to show you what it is in just a second. There it is. There it is. It is a multi-ladder. Um, it's like one of those, I don't know how to say it, but I'm so excited. I can't hardly breathe. It's got a folding thingy. You can put it on stairs. Uh, you can put it up against the wall. You can make two little thingies to make scaffolding, an extension ladder. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and I gotta I gotta sit down. I gotta sit down. I've been uh, I was gonna sit down a little while ago, but I had to do stuff with the compost heap. Everybody's making noise now. Everybody's making noise. Ah, it got here. I can't believe it. I'm gonna be able to get my insulation done. Alright, so I need to find out if it's okay if I mention who sent me this? Well, they got out again. I don't know what to do. I just don't want them chasing the chickens. I literally can't get anything done. I have no idea how they got out this time. I have no idea. So I'm gonna have to go look at it again. I, I don't think they got into the rooster yard because all the roosters are still there. They had to have gotten out through the front. <sighs> Dang it. I just want to have the rest of the day to get shit done. That's all I want. That's all I want. For right now, there's absolutely nothing I can do to prevent this, so I'm just going to finish cleaning out this, where is it, composting bucket. I don't know, even know if you can see it. Um, and I got to do a bunch of other stuff, you know, just homesteady stuff. So for those of you who think this life is glamorous and that I'm always happy and I'm always smiling no the truth is is that sometimes i get really angry like today those puppies so i don't know i'm just gonna finish this up uh, and then i'm gonna take a break <laughs> time to get some more water some more water that's not frozen and for inside the tiny house i need to filter some more and just have it around so it can be filtered for the dogs Whew, i got plenty of water though <sighs> i'm finally getting to take a break Papa and the puppies are inside the tiny house, and that's where they're going to stay for now. Um, I have got to go into town because I'm out of deer corn, and the chickens need that at nighttime because they'll eat a little bit of it, and it, it takes a while to digest, and it'll keep them warm overnight. And the temperatures, although for the next oh, week, I think, are going to be mild during the day, they're going to drop down pretty low during the night. So i got to go into town. i got to I just got to do that. Um, before the weather turns horrible again, 
anyhow, I have been given permission to tell you who got me that wonderful ladder, and it is Moira. She doesn't leave comments very much, but she does watch the videos, and it's totally funny about that, that ladder, because she ordered it from Lowe's on December 13th. It was supposed to arrive for pickup on January 3rd. It never arrived, and there was no estimation on when it would get there. So I went to look and she was bound to determine to get me a, a ladder. This particular ladder, um, because of its safety features and its multi-functioning. And so I went looking on Amazon to see if I could find something that was cheaper. Um, and I found one and it was made by the same company and she was not having that at all. She says, I, I, I won't buy you that ladder. You should not have that ladder. It's not safe enough and it's not sturdy enough. And this one you can straddle when you're up high and blah, blah, blah. And, um, so she was not going to get me the cheaper ladder. She wanted to get this one because she knows a lot about these kinds of ladders. She's used them for a living for many years, so she has the experience. So thank you, Moira. Oh my gosh. It is a wonderful, wonderful ladder. It finally got here. Oh, oh, and that's not all. So she ordered it from another company. They were supposed to deliver it, um, I don't know, several days ago before we had all that snow and ice. Um, well, it was ordered from FedEx, and it got stuck in Humboldt, Tennessee, which is less than an hour away from here. Well, um, Humboldt, Tennessee, I don't know if you know, but the, the ground facility, not the drop-off facilities, um, like in Walgreens and whatnot, but the actual uh, FedEx building where all the trucks are in Humboldt is the worst. It is terrible. They have horrible reviews. They have a horrible track record of just holding packages or just losing them or delivering empty packages. Just a horrible, horrible um, reputation. So she called FedEx. I called FedEx. And the people we got on the phone didn't even sound like they were from America. <laughs> okay. The, the guy I talked to sounded like he was from India. Could ba barely understand him. And that's not to disparage the customer service people as individuals. It's to disparage FedEx for not using Americans to do the job that they need to have done. Um, so it wasn't their fault. It was FedEx's fault. And it's this particular facility in Humboldt, Tennessee. So hopefully none of your packages will ever have to go through there because they're horrible. Anyhow, um, yeah, I complained to the guy on the phone about it. I says, you know, I realized that uh, the warehouse in Humboldt has um, terrible reviews and um, he says well I'll contact one of my colleagues and well anyhow it got here so thank you Maura I love it I love you oh, I am so thrilled so um, you know what I need to go into town I'm just gonna take a deep breath I'm gonna go by myself there's a glare on the phone there um, and just kind of take a deep breath and regroup um, <laughs> Hopefully by the time I get back, the UPS guy will not have tried to deliver yet because I'm afraid they might try and deliver it to the wrong house. Um, the second thing that I'm getting, the the second battery pack and the um, bar and chain oil. Um, so I don't think I'm going to get any chainsawing done today. I don't think I'm in the right frame of mind to be putting a chainsaw on these hands, if you know what I mean. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thank you, Moira. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.